Kid Step friends, my name is Miss Amanda, and this is our friend Pip the Penguin. We are so excited to worship with you guys this morning. Why don't you stand up on your feet and let's praise Jesus together. This song is Miracle of Love. Now you guys, this song has a lot of jumping and dancing, so I wanna see you guys getting warmed up. Can you guys jump up and down? Good job. Now this is all about what Jesus did for us, that he came and died on the cross for our sins. So you guys, as we sing this song out to him, let's worship Jesus and tell him how much we love him. Okay, let's sing, it's a new day. It's a new day, a new day, love has won. With this sacrifice, You can go ahead and have a seat now. This month, we are focusing on a new prayer activity together called Praying in Color. Praying in Color is just simply a way for us to talk to God. What you can do is with a sheet of paper or in your activity books, and we're going to spend time drawing out our prayers. You can draw anything you want. Maybe you want to draw your family to pray for them. Maybe you want to draw your preschool and pray for it. Or maybe you want to draw something else for God. God loves when you spend time with Him. And the very best part is God is always with us. So He is watching us draw our prayers. We are going to play a song, and that's when you take the time to draw a picture for Jesus. Again, you can draw anything you want for God.
gather here to give you thanks for all the good things you have done. We set our gaze on your grace, your love so constant, love so strong. Everything good is from me. Father so faithful and true Gather here to sing your praise For your power and your might Set our hearts on your name You are Jesus, you are life Everything good is from you Father, so to know if you want to read a story out of this new beginner's Bible. You do? Awesome! If you have your beginner's Bible, open it up to page 98 with us. Let's read our story together. The Burning Bush from Exodus chapter 3. When Moses was a man, he left the palace. Pharaoh was still being mean to the Israelites. Moses tried to protect them, so Pharaoh tried to kill Moses. Moses escaped from Egypt. He went to a place called Midian and became a shepherd. We're going to turn the page. One day, while Moses was watching his sheep, he saw something strange. A bush was on fire, but it wasn't burning up. From inside the bush, God spoke. Moses Bring your people out of Egypt. Take them to a new land that I will show you. This new land is called Canaan. Moses was worried that Pharaoh would not listen. God told Moses to throw his staff on the ground. When he did, the staff became a snake. God told Moses to reach down and grab the snake. It became a staff again. 
God said, I will use signs like this to show Pharaoh that I have sent you. We're going to turn the page. But I cannot speak very well, complained Moses. God said, do not worry. Your brother Aaron is a good speaker, and I will send him with you. So Moses returned with Aaron to Egypt. When they arrived, Moses told the Israelites what God had said. Have you ever had to be on stage? Pip said one time he was on stage at church to sing, and he was really afraid because there was a big crowd watching him. But Pip, what happened? Oh, Pip said he took a few deep breaths and remembered God was with them, with him, and then he sang. Pip, that's great. Just what, like we have learned before, that God is with us. And you know what? In our story today, Moses wasn't on stage, but he had a pretty crazy meeting with God. And God spoke to Moses and told him that he was going to be used to rescue the people from slavery. Moses was worried that no one would listen. But God spoke to him and reminded him that God was with him him, and God would help him to be with him. What do you think, Pip? Should we share this week's Bible video with our friends? Okay, let's watch it together. Stories of the Bible, Moses and the Burning Bush. This is Moses. Moses was an Israelite boy born in Egypt in a time when Israelite boys were not supposed to live. Wait, huh? The Israelites were slaves to the Egyptians, but God had a special plan for Moses. Oh, eh? And he spent his childhood in the palace of the Pharaoh. You see, when Moses grew up, he made a big mistake. Uh-oh. Pharaoh found out what Moses had done, and he tried to have Moses killed. Ah! So Moses ran away from Egypt. He stopped in the land of Midian. Ah. And seven sisters came to the well to give water to their father's flock. Some shepherds came to drive them away. Hey, you. But Moses stood up for the women. Hey. Now these sisters were the daughters of the Midianite priest named Jethro. When Jethro heard what Moses did for his daughters, he sent for Moses. So Moses came to live among the Midianites, and he married Zipporah, one of Jethro's daughters. Huh? Meanwhile, back in Egypt, the old pharaoh died, but he was replaced by a new pharaoh who continued to treat the Israelites poorly. Ah oh, man! The Israelites cried out to God because of the terrible things that the pharaoh made them do. God heard these people and knew it was time to act. One day, Moses was tending Jethro's flock when an angel of the Lord appeared to Moses through a burning bush that would not burn up. Moses stopped to look at the bush, and he heard the voice of God say, Moses, Moses. God then told Moses how sad he was because of the suffering of his people. He told Moses that he wanted to do something about it, and he wanted Moses to be the one to do it. Oh man! But Moses did not think he was the right person to go. God said, I will be with you. Uh, But Moses said that he wouldn't know the right thing to say to the people. So God said to tell the people that God himself had sent him and promised Moses that his plan would be fulfilled through Moses. But Moses still said to God that he did not think the people would believe him. So God said, what is that in your head? Moses said, a staff. God told Moses to throw it on the ground. Wow, okay. 
Then God told Moses to catch it. God showed Moses another sign huh? and told him to show these signs to the people if they did not believe what he said. Moses still didn't think he would have the right words to say, but God said that he himself was the one who made a man's mouth and gave him the ability to speak, so there was no need to worry. Yet even after all this, Moses said, God, please send someone else. Then God got mad at Moses Oops. and said that he would send Moses' brother Aaron to speak for Moses. So Moses went back to his father-in-law and told him that he needed to go back to Egypt. Moses and his family started their journey back to Egypt. And Moses carried the staff of God in his hand, for this staff would be the tool God would use to demonstrate his awesome power to the Israelites and to the Egyptians. Just like how God spoke to Moses through the burning bush, God can speak to us too. Although we probably won't find a bush that is burning, Great question, Pip. Pip wants to know how we can hear God speaking to us. We know we can't hear God's voice like we can hear my voice right now, but there are other ways that we can hear God's voice. We can hear God's voice when we read our Bibles and he helps us to learn more about him. Or maybe you've had, a cha had to make a choice where you heard a little voice in your head that wanted you to make the good choice and not the bad choice because you knew it would be wrong if you made the bad choice. That nudge is when God is speaking to us to help us make good choices. God loves to talk with us. We just have to be good listeners. What do you think? Before we go, should we sing one more song? Great, let's stand to our feet and let's sing together. This song is called Brave. It's all about how God's love makes us brave. We're gonna start by singing, No, I won't be afraid, for you are with me. Let's go. No, I won't be afraid, you are with me. You are right beside me every day. Like this. Your word will light my way. Your word will help me to stand. I 
know I'm safe with you. I know I'm safe with you. I know I'm held in your hands. Sing out your love. Your love makes me bright. And I won't be afraid. Let me hear you a little louder. Your love. Your love makes me bright. I can face anything. All right, as loud as you can. Again, your love, I want to hear you real loud. Your love makes me brave. All right, last time, I want to hear you as loud as you can. Your love makes me brave. Your love makes me brave. Awesome job. It was so much fun getting to learn together today how God speaks to us. Before we say goodbye, let's pray together. Praying is just talking to God like we talk to our best friend. So let's close our eyes and bow our heads to keep us from being distracted and talk to God. Dear God, we thank you that you speak to us. God, help us to be good listeners to you. We love you so much. Amen. We hope you join us again next week as we continue worshiping and learning together. See you then. Bye, friends.